Hey guys, Trent Moon here from Moon Tours. We are on the Sunshine Coast at Sunshine Coast Board Sports, our local store here. And uh, before your surf trip, you want to get down to your local store, pick yourselves up, we're going to show you how to get ready. The boss isn't here, so we're helping ourselves. How to get ready for a surf trip and what you should think about packing before you go. Get your board, your paddle, everything, get it rail taped. You want to bring some wax of a paddle grip for your paddle because uh, you'll be using a lot of sunscreen and we always forget and we put it on straight before we go out and then slipping all over using the paddle. So some grip on, on there is good. Wax is okay too, but it also mounts pretty quick over there. I think for anyone that's kind of um, not had a lot of experience surfing reef breaks, and just for, the, just for people that are maybe a little bit conscious, it is definitely worth investing in a pair of reef boots. Nothing worse than uh, cutting your foot on the first day. Spare leg ropes. Leggies over there, you know, you're gonna get stretched, they often break. Board repairs, you always wanna have a little bit of stuff. We've got some session safe solar res. You can buy ding tape, or well, this 3M rail tape here actually makes perfect uh, ding tape. Uh, spare fins, because you can't really surf without them. Very hot and tropical uh, in the Maldives. Sun protection, absolutely paramount, and I recommend bringing long sleeve uh, rashi hat, surf hats, a short sleeve. You probably don't want to wear a long sleeve every day, so I take a short sleeve and a long sleeve. You're going to want sunscreen, lots of it. Zinc based um, bronze creams. This one here, Surf Yogis. There's another one called Surf Mud, which is an Aussie brand. Fantastic. It stays on and it blocks 100% out. Bring a board, pack a paddle, even a spare paddle if you have it. Put out paddle in a full paddle cover. We generally fit at least two, often three. Board bag, if you're lucky enough uh, to find yourself a double travel cover on wheels, great, maybe you've already got one. They are hard to get at the moment in Australia. If you can't, just use a regular bag. So we've got two bags here, flying objects, which I really love. They're a great quality bag, heavy duty canvas, well padded. They are quite a snug fit though, so you generally probably want to go a size up in those so you can fit everything else in. This is a Balin bag, it's a 9.0 and we've got a 9.0 board there. We're going to put it in, we're going to put all our bits and pieces in there and then we're going to weigh it for you. Something with vents in it generally, I love these because the zip comes all the way down to the front there. The next model up, they're thicker and it's got a felt lining, it's got more air vents in it. So we've got quite a bit of room, pack around your board a little bit more. Uh, some people put cardboard on the rails, pool noodles, you know, whatever. A bit of extra padding's not a bad thing. Wrap them around the tail a bit. Let's just chuck it all in. That's in. Put all this in. Yeah, put two leggies in there. Ah, uh, 9 board in a 9-0 uh, bowl bag in this scenario. So we've actually got plenty of room. It's more about the weight, really. Uh, let's weigh it. So that's 15 kilos, one paddle, the fins, booties, two leggies, some spares. We've got room to, to spare there. So we travel with boards up to nine, six, pretty much everywhere and never have a problem. You'd be surprised how easy it is to travel with the stuff actually. Got to check your airline traveling with. With Singapore Airlines from Australia, it's most common. 30 kilos of checked luggage and you get your seven kilos of carry on. But the tip with Singapore, don't go over the 30. If you do, they're gonna charge you 42 US a kilo. Couple of tips, you could take soft stuff out, put it in your carry-on bag. We generally get away with it. One major carry-on bag that can't weigh you know, more than seven kilos, and you get a sneaky little computer bag or a handbag. Air Asia, you can go nuts. The official stance is 9.2, we don't have any problems 9.6 really. Up to 80 kilos per person, plus seven kilo carry-on, plus free surfboards from Australia, 15 kilos. You see that bag, it's 15 kilos, we've still got 15 to spare, plus seven, plus a sneaky bag. Heaps of luggage for you to come. You should be able to bring two boards if you want to, no worries, or a foil or whatever. So that's it, I hope that helps you get ready, and I hope you're excited, we are.